Good morning. I hope there's not too much background noise this morning. My neighbors are putting on a new roof, so if there is, uh, please excuse uh, that disturbance, but uh, I've got a microphone. Hopefully that will help to minimize it this morning. So what is a trellis? A trellis is any material or thing that something can grow on, that a plant can grow on. So it's basically a design strategy where you're taking advantage of vertical space above a garden. Because generally what you've got in a garden is you've got a two-dimensional space that you grow on, but when you put up a trellis, you give yourself an awful lot more growing room. And once that is in place, really the, the limitations are, are, are much less on what you can grow. So, um, so it's any material that a plant can grow on. It doesn't have to look like the standard trellis you're, you're used to. It could be a chain link fence. It could be a picket fence with string for, for uh, pole beans to grow up. It could be you know, st strips of wood in, in another decorative fashion that you design yourself. Uh, it could be a living trellis. And living trellises are interesting because you have to kind of get them started before the things you want to grow on them, but they can work out. For instance, I grew Jerusalem artichokes last summer, and on that living trellis, I had Apios Americana, the American groundnut, uh, growing up through them. And that's a guild you can't leave for too long, we won't get into that, but the, the, um, you can use things like sunflowers, things, certain kinds of corn. Some kinds of corn will just fall over, things are growing on them, so you really need a corn with a very tough stalk and you need to get that in early and started before anything's climbing up it. Um, so, so that's what I mean by a trellis. It's anything that can extend your growing space vertically. When you're siting a trellis, you really want to think about location, but your, your, your considerations are a little different because your sun can be higher up. So even if something's shaded lower, if you put in a trellis, you can take advantage of sunlight that goes way up. You can even hang planters on a trellis to, uh, to get more vertical space. Um, you want to think, however, about the shading of your, uh, what, what shade is that trellis going to cast on the other things in your garden? And you want to sight your trellis really carefully with respect to that. I tend to put my, my trellises either on the, uh, either basically going north-south or east-west. And when I'm going east-west, I have to make sure that I put the trellis on the side of my garden where it's not going to shade the entire garden. So you want to put it on the back side. If you're facing the sun, the trellis should be in back of your garden, obviously. I mean, these things seem obvious, but sometimes when you're putting something in, it's not altogether obvious, and that's why I'm pointing it out. So I have a trellis on the north side of one of my gardens, but I also have trellises going uh, East, uh, going, <laughs> going, running north south in a different spot. Now you can you can play with this idea. You can put them on an angle, but you we just have to be careful when you do that to to watch the the direction of the sun throughout the day to observe that before you put in your trellis. And one important thing to understand is that the the sun is casts more light later, like midday on, than it does in the morning. Morning light is, is not very strong, morning sunlight. So when you're putting plants in a place that will get morning sunlight, uh, but then be shaded in the afternoon, they have to be more shade tolerant than plants that are going into an area which might get shade in the morning, but will get lots of sun in the afternoon. That, that type of plant doesn't need to be quite as shade tolerant, or perhaps no, not shade tolerant at all. So. Just be a little careful when you put in your um, your trellises, just not to mess up something else that you've already uh, situated there. So that's important. Um, then you have to think about the soil below the trellis. So in putting up a trellis, you're giving yourself more vertical space, but you're also pulling more out of the soil. 
And so your soil has to be richer in order to compensate for the extra plants, the extra demands that you're putting on it. So building soil, it's a, it's a topic for a different time, but you really want to consider that with your trellis. Um, you're going to be taking more out. How are you going to make sure that that soil stays healthy? Um, so then the question is, what can you grow on the trellis? We talked about trell living trellises, what, what they could be made of, but what are you going to grow? And that's a good thing to think about before you put together a trellis because you want to make sure that your trellis is going to be strong enough to hold that type of plant. You want to make sure that it's going to look good with that type of plant, although some types of plants will cover a trellis, but some types of plants will, will grow up like pole beans in just a, sort of this spinning kind of fashion. They might not cover much of the trellis, in which case you want to make sure that your trellis looks good in the place that you put it. So, so things I grow on trellises. I grow squash on trellises. I grow beans on trellises. I grow sweet potatoes on trellises. I grow uh, groundnuts, the, the vines that come up off of groundnuts on trellises. Um, I have uh, morning glories. I have roses. I have grapevines. And this brings me to uh, one of my last points, and that is when you're building a trellis, you want to make sure that it is going to last as long as the plant that you're growing on it. This is very important. If, you, if, you, if you're planting annuals, maybe not so important. You can put up a trellis, like a string trellis for beans. You can put up a string trellis and uh, you know just a frame with some string coming down from it. You can use that for beans. You can use that for tomatoes uh, and other kinds of vegetables. And if they're annuals, you're going to take that down when you take your when you harvest your vegetables and when you're done with it. Um, you're going to take that string down, so it doesn't have to be a lasting structure. I made the mistake, well, I don't know if it was a mistake, but uh, probably 18 years ago, maybe 19 years ago, I planted my grapes in my, my other yard where I moved from a couple of years back. And when I planted those grapes, I planted them so they draped over a picket fence. So they, they went up and then they kind of formed an archway and then hung down over the fence. And so so the sort of the whole structure of the thing depended on the fence to a certain extent and I would then cut back uh, the vines that would grow out from there but I had a very old well an 18 year old you know grapevine by the time I left but before I left I had to replace the fence so replacing the fence was very disruptive to this structure that I had been working on for so long, this kind of arching vine structure with these very thick vines that went overhead. So <clears throat> definitely think when you put in your, your perennial foods, if they are going to require a vertical structure, if they're going to require a trellis, how long is that trellis going to last and how long are you going to be there? If you're putting in, say, you know, well, grapes, like I just said, or, you know, perhaps hardy kiwis, something like that. This is something that you might want to last for a long time. So that trellis should be ready to last for a long time. Anyway, that is what I have to say about trellises. I hope you will incorporate trellises in your garden if you haven't done so already. They are a great addition. They really expand your, extend your growing space in small spaces, and that's what I deal with here. If you've got a lot of space, it's not quite as important, but some plants really just grow better on trellises. So, so think about that when you're planning things. Anyway, I really appreciate your, uh, your joining me today. I hope you'll give me a thumbs up. I hope you leave some comments and I really hope you'll subscribe to my channel. Please take a look at our website, foodforestgardenclub.org, where we have uh, regular in-person meetups online. We also have uh, forums and we have other kinds of uh, like seed swaps and that sort of thing and contests and you know it's it's a lot of fun so please give us a give us a check at foodforestgardenclub.org glad to see you here today I hope that we can be in contact again in the future I hope you will like I said drop me some comments let me know what you think and how you are using trellises in your own garden all right thank you so much have a great day